This episode of DoD TV is brought to you by the incredibly durable Morel Shooting Target. With many designs available, you're sure to find a target that fits your practicing style. Well, we're out here and uh, already thinking about deer season 22. Just got this muddy penthouse put up behind me and uh, we're already thinking about where are we going to run into one of our shooters next year. But uh, just wanted to give you one final episode from Terry and I here for deer season 21. As you all know, Terry loves shooting those does, so we uh, we really went to work on them there in the later part of the season. Terry put the put the firearms to work there during that antlerless uh, firearm season. I put the nitro fire to work in muzzleloader, and then Ben and I we put the Matthews and Mission together right there at the end of the season, and uh, we had our management goals. So why don't you check it out? Deer season 21. It's been a heck of a ride, and we finished out with a bunch of doe kills. Wow, we are locked in over here ready to do a little damage on the antler this season. You know, here we are closing in on the middle of December and we haven't harvested many does here on the farm, which is unusual for us. But uh, we're gonna kind of make hay here over the next couple of days and try and fill our quota. We can kill two antlerless in each county. So hopefully we'll end up reaching that goal. Forrest and I both have got tags, got permits, so we're going to try and do our best. Shooting the 350 Legend here tonight, straight wall cartridge, and uh, we'll see how it performs here. Usually it's flawless, hopefully tonight will be the same. Okay, ready? Yep. Well, <laughs> we came in here with a mission, mission in mind, to harvest an adult doe. We did just that with the 350 Legend. This is the straight wall cartridge and we've used it a great deal. We've had tremendous luck with this firearm. And uh, I just can't say enough about it. I mean, the knockdown energy is through the roof. It's, and I said it a few years ago, it's almost violent <laughs> when you harvest a deer with this, uh, this particular caliber. So we've had good luck with it. She's laying right here. She took maybe 20 steps and uh, collapse there. So we'll wait for a little bit, see if we can get another one on the ground here before the evening's over. It was early, so hopefully they'll move yet tonight. Rolled forward on me just a little bit, but I think it's still cleaner to clock. We'll see. She ran a little bit further than I thought she would, but she rolled forward just as I shot. But still and all, another big adult doe. So got one laying there, and then she was just, she wouldn't stop. I had to squeak at her two, three times, but I believe we got her. Well, as I sit here behind these two big, beautiful adult Missouri does, uh, set out on a mission. We said, you know what, let's, uh, it's the antlerless firearm season here in Missouri, and uh, let's try and see if we can take a few does out. And that's exactly what we did. I was shooting the 350 Legend, the straight wall cartridge, and uh, the one deer ran maybe 20 yards, 20 steps and fell over, and the other one ran about 50 or 60 yards. So uh, I couldn't be happier. We didn't have far to drag and uh, got them right here, got tags on both of them. We're gonna get them field dressed, get them in the cooler. We finally got some cool temperatures and they were on the food plot this evening. So it worked out pretty doggone good. We did this by four o'clock. So uh, can't say enough about the, again, about the Winchester, but uh, it's fun whenever they move. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We are still on the antlerless mission. We uh, have struck out the last two sittings, oddly enough, even though we are densely populated with the antlerless. We just can't seem to run into one. And I've not had an opportunity to shoot the 6.8 Western. I know Mark has, and I think Matt might have, and I am dying to shoot it. And it's not for lack of trying, it's simply for lack of opportunity. So this morning I'm gonna be shooting a 6.8 Western. Hopefully we'll get a doe or two in front of us. We've got plenty of firearms permits in hand. So uh, we're gonna give it a whirl here this morning. Yeah. I couldn't work out any better. That was the 
first opportunity with the 6.8 Western. <laughs> Point blank range there. And uh, I'm surprised that she ran when I heard her pull up and crash right there. I don't think she went very far. But that was fun. I mean, we haven't been sitting here 15, 20 minutes, maybe. And uh, Far said there's one coming down the road. And all of a sudden, another one popped out. So it worked out pretty good. Big adult though. opportunities with the 6.8 and I've been really really wanting to shoot this 6.8 Western. I know Mark and Taylor and Wade they've all had ample opportunities to shoot it and uh, that was really a fun fun occurrence right there. Man oh man does this thing have the wallop. It's got some smackdown energy I'll tell you. Really really impressed with the performance of that thing and uh, I don't know they were looking back behind us here. I don't know what they saw but they Started to wig out just a little bit, so I stopped her, put the crosshairs on her, and boom, dropped her right there. So, that worked out pretty good. Well, happiness is, as they say, here I sit behind these two great, big, beautiful adult does here in northern Missouri. Uh, we're hunting here during the antlerless season, the antlerless firearm season, and uh, started with the first one right at first light there, first legal shooting hours. And I took her behind the shoulder with the 6'8 Western, and she ran maybe 40 or 45 yards, piled up right there immediately. Uh, then the second one, she was out there a little bit further and elected to take her high shoulder. She piled up like a uh, big old pile of bricks right there in the edge of the field. So I couldn't be happier, and it was really about trying to check this performance on this 6'8. Others have had the opportunity to shoot it and uh, I was really wanting to do it here in Deer Camp 21. It just keeps rolling on for us. Uh, and no one is more aggressive than we are when it comes to doe management, trying to keep that buck to doe ratio in check. And that's what this morning was all about. We wanna make sure that we filled our antlerless permits and we did just that, so uh, I couldn't be happier. Here's to never missing a day of hunting camp. Because with DeerCast, you can take camp with you all season long. Get ahead of your game. Uh, Forrest is going to be up to bat. He's going to try and harvest a couple of does, and maybe if the right buck shows up, he'll uh, have some luck and take him too. So, the vide videography tonight will be off the chart because I'll be behind the camera. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> when it starts right now, look at it. Look at this action. You want to see videography action? Look at that. <laughs> Looks like I'm on a Ronin. He's only got three arrows. So I don't know what all he's going to kill. It's going to be that's on point. That's a doe arrow, that's a doe arrow, and that's a buck arrow. Well, I like the way you roll. That's the insurance policy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is over 50. <laughs> <laughs> Came out tonight, we were on a doe mission, 
and uh, we were successful. It was a pretty slow evening, but uh, luckily this big old doe came in and offered me about a 25 yard shot and put the Matthews and the uh, Rage no collar to work and uh, hit, her, hit her pretty darn good and she went about 100 yards. So couldn't be any more excited. Gonna get her uh, field dressed here. Got her checked in already. Gonna put her in the cooler and then uh, probably cut her up later this week and put her in the freezer and maybe throw some of her uh, back straps in the smoker. Well, here we go. Last day of 2021, Terry and I are headed in. We're going down to a, a big bottom. We haven't sat there at all this year. And I uh, got the Traditions Nitro Fire and got my bow as well. And got a buck tag left and then got a few doe tags. So I uh, may try to shoot a couple does with the gun. And if a buck comes in, um, we'll see if it gets in close enough. Hopefully it gets within range of the Matthews. But uh, then Terry's headed home for New Year's. And uh, we got a big snowstorm coming tomorrow. So this is the last kind of mild day we got. Looking forward to that snow coming though. Well, as you can see, we had a successful uh, antlerless doe mission tonight. Went in there, and uh, we actually ended up seeing we had uh, eight or nine bucks come out on the field and then a few does, and really wanted to test out the knockdown energy that this nitro fire puts out. We're shooting 120 grains of powder and that bleed bullet, so shot her high shoulder. Um, and as you can see, it performed extremely well. She dropped right there, didn't move at all. So she's gonna be a great one to put in the freezer. She died right away. So gonna get her cleaned up here and get her in the cooler and uh, get her butchered out later this week. Got eight to 12 inches of snow they're predicting for tomorrow. So we're gonna be out hunting the food sources the next few days. It should be really good. So really excited, but tonight was able to go out and uh, put a big old doe on the ground. This doe would walk up here if that little, if those bucks weren't there, jacking her out.
it ended up shooting out of the back of the box. That was nuts. Well, going out on some of these doe hunts with me has been, he's uh, one of the new editors. He started here earlier this fall. He's been up at the farm all year, helping out with drone work and any kind of chores we got on the farm. And he's been editing all these Deer Season 21 episodes, absolutely killing it his first year here. And here at the end of the season, he had a few uh, antlerless uh, archery tags to fill. So he went out, he filmed me kill socks there on the fifth. And then on some of these uh, later doe hunts, me and him were switching the mission and the camera back and forth and he got to fill a few tags. Man. bloody arrows two does down we're gonna go get my arrow and then recover mine first then we're gonna head over we saw them both fall so this shouldn't take long then we're gonna head over and get his Well, as you can see, we had a good night. Went in there with the doe mission in hand. That's something we always um, are cognizant of, is managing our doe population. We try to kill um, a certain number of does per buck. So we went in there tonight with the, the mission in mind and put the mission to work. So pretty fun night. Yeah, really fun night. Forrest shot his doe first, and then 20, 25 minutes after he shot his doe, this one came walking through, same trail. Um, 24 yards, it was, it was pretty neat. It was pretty awesome. We saw both of them go down, so that was nice. And uh, that mission, we shot it earlier today, and uh, it's absolutely driving tax. And those rage, I mean, it tore them up. They didn't go, well, each of them went maybe 45, 50 yards. Yeah, if that, and the blood trails are just <laughs> absolutely insane. <laughs> it's awesome. Late season, those are going down. <laughs> Can't beat it, late season doe management. some standing things in here for a doe mission. Hopefully, me and Forrest can get a, a doe or two down with the mission crossbow tonight. We got two down last night. Late season, gonna try to get a couple more.
Stop. did the job. Cool. We're gonna get her loaded up. Go help Zach track his doe. He shot one at night too. So our doe management mission is going pretty good. We have a couple more days so hopefully we can get a couple more down. That's a big doe. Like a really big doe. How was the blood trail through the beans? Uh pretty good. <laughs> pretty nasty. Dude that dry thing ate her up. Oh my gosh. That's right where you need to put it. Drilled her. This segment of DOD TV is brought to you by Cold Steel. Anytime, anywhere. We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DOD TV was brought to you by Victory Archery, the carbon arrow experts. 